we all got some sad news, um, as you know, and as everyone's been talking about. Larry King uh, passed away uh, over the weekend. And um, I want to take a minute here at the top of the show to talk about Larry because, of course, everyone knows him as this consummate interviewer, this legendary broadcaster. He talked to everyone, uh, just a, a, a giant in the uh, talk show industry. But on a more personal note, we had an interesting relationship with Larry here at this show for many years. For some reason, we don't know why, he felt very comfortable coming to us and um, letting his comedy side come out. And it really started almost from the very beginning. I mean, yeah. when our show first went on the air, I think in 93 or 94, Larry came on and uh, he loved to kind of try jokes out and comedy out with us. And that relationship started and then it just kept going. Yeah. And I think for 27, 28 years, Larry would come on our show and we'd have a weird idea and he'd say, love it. Yeah. I want to do it. Right. And it was fantastic. Yeah, like, hey, Larry, will you climb up in the rafters? Sure, no problem. Yeah. I'll do a show from the rafters. I'll you do know? a show from the rafters. And, um, you know, as time went on, we, we kept thinking of sillier and sillier things and would think, well, Larry probably doesn't want to do this. He's such an esteemed broadcaster. And... And I, I just, I love him for it. He would always say, sounds funny, I'll do it. And he'd show up and we'd, we'd put him in a costume, we'd pitch him these crazy ideas, and he'd say he liked to make people laugh. He yeah. really did. It was something that I think gave him a lot of joy. And he was good at it. He was yep. really funny. No, he was, he was exactly what you would want Larry King to be and then a little bit more. Like he was like yep. nicer than he had to be and yep. realer than he had to be. Yeah. And a an amazing listener yeah. to everybody he talked to, you know? Yeah, and so we wanted to um, we wanted to take the top of the show today and just share uh, some of our favorite moments with Larry King over the last uh, three decades. I do listen to other people, but I always end up talking about myself at length on the show <laughs> and ultimately making it all about me. You're saying that's probably a mistake. Well, it, it, might keep, it might keep you on late. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nurse, you'll tend to... <laughs> you'll, 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 no, no, no. I think the other key to a good interview is uh, keep it short. Thank you for being here, Larry. <laughs> Larry King Live. <laughs> you want an example of a bad interview? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, my guest tonight is Conan O'Brien. Conan's just written a new book called Conan O'Brien's Massachusetts. You write about Cape Cod? Yeah, well, actually... Okay, it's one of my favorite places, Cape Cod. <laughs> I love it, Cape. I've had a lot of adventures on Cape. Knew a girl there once. S Sadie Emerson owned a bar. Do you know Sadie Emerson? I actually do. I saw okay. her once. Yeah, what? Well... <laughs> I got in! I got in! I got in! Yeah, I got in! Larry King, <laughs> if you change the beast, the beast will get angry. And stick around for more with the Wolverine right after the break. <laughs> I am, I'm a lifetime heterosexual, all my life. <laughs> nothing against, I got nothing against gay, I'm just a Sure, heterosexual. that's okay, okay, fine. No, no man in my whole life has ever kissed me on the lips. Mm -hmm. Ever. That's so right. Marlon Brando kissed me. I swear right. to God. No man has ever kissed me. So that's a lot fine, of times, no one's asking. I go around and, I go around. <laughs> why are you so touchy about I'll this? I'll tell you why. Fine, no one's. I'll tell you why. Okay. Because I've been thinking about him ever since. <laughs> Larry King will lose his endorsement deal with Welch's grape juice. When it's revealed, King hasn't had juice in his grapes for over 20 years. <laughs> I, Larry King, will call Conan O'Brien and ask him to appear on my show as Man of the Year. O'Brien will arrive at the designated time only to find an empty studio. I will be sitting at home laughing my ass off. <laughs> this is fish oil, a product. I used to get pains in my joints. I get up in the morning, I don't get them anymore. This is from New Zealand, and I'm gonna give you. you put it on your knee? Would you put it on the joint? What do you no, do? No, just take the little pills, just take them. Take them. 
Conan, take that, you'll forget. I, well, I, when someone and, comes up to you and says, eat these pills... Eat them, take them with water. You got water in there? Yes, I got water. Well, well, take we'll some. say it's water, yeah. It's never a mistake to take stranger pills. I know. So, no, Larry, your really... rules are, during the interview, listen, and then listen. sell fish oil. <laughs> I got yeah. a great idea. We're going to do a show. Okay. I'm going to have both of you on together. Oh, that'd be nice. And we'll talk to a star and a sidekick. Okay? <laughs> star, sidekick. Okay. What exactly does he do? You want to know what I do? This is what I do. I have sheets and pillowcases. Who knew? <laughs> I have. Larry, I have sheets and pillowcases. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they made a brand for me. Me and Sean is called. Steve I thought Black you were just bragging that you had sheets and pillowcases. <laughs> I thought that was a, a new low. I got, I got towels. socks. Yeah. <laughs> I got towels, plates, spoons, forks. <laughs> Why do I come here? I don't know. What are you guys doing on top of them? Aren't we supposed oh, to get yeah, inside? Yeah, we're supposed to get inside. And he's right. Yeah. yeah. Andy. Yes. I love you. I love you too, Larry. <laughs> Go to sleeplikeaking.com. Okay. Okay. I have a really f***ing weird job. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Live from 30 feet above me, Larry King. Larry! Hey, Conan. Uh, Steve from Grover Falls, Minnesota. You're on with Larry King. Hi, Larry. Great show tonight. Okay, Larry, I'm sorry, but you think you could turn the volume down a little? <laughs> I'm cool with you doing a show, trust me. Well, I've never seen your legs before, but... <laughs> Larry, who are you talking to there? Uh, sorry, Carla, one of my assistants. She sounds really cute. Hey! All right! And I loved it. I loved going fast. I loved um, being in the trees and doing all these things. And um, I remember one day I saw my, my brother picked up snowboarding, and... It's like I a... Just, <laughs> uh, there we go. Go ahead. He can't yeah. stand it. No. He can't stand it. No, I... He can't stand it. No, it's your show, Larry. Go ahead. <laughs> want me to go over there? No, no. <laughs> I'm here for you. Anytime you want to drop by and uh, we can stare into each other's eyes uh, on television. Conan. Huh? I never thought... You have some of my favorite tweets. I sit down on Sunday nights and I stream out these thoughts. I don't type them out. My wife sends them out. In other words, I give them to her. She Wait, says, you just lie there and you shout things? No. <laughs> no, I... Celery is underrated! <laughs> Corn cob is a good name for a horse! <laughs> is this this... You're just sitting there shouting. No, 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 Larry, again, we love you. Are you I working did not out? come here to be humiliated. <laughs> Help. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Ah. Larry, you have said that you plan to be cryogenically frozen. So, in other words, you put me in the ground or you, 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 you burn me up. Whatever. That's... You, you, you don't want that. I want to have a... I'm, I'm Jewish. We got to have hope. I got to have... <laughs> If I, I have a fragment of hope, my wife is... Oh, I thought you were saying you want to be frozen at this side. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be made real small and then frozen so and then put in someone's drink. My wife... <laughs> <laughs> Why do I come here? I don't know. <laughs> my... What? <laughs> you, just wanna, you just want to have yet another TV show. What are these... <laughs> What if it's, you want what, 30 years from now, you come cracking out of the ice and go, it's Larry King alive! <laughs> That's what you want. The medical ethicist Zeke Emanuel states that he hopes he dies at age 75. Living past 75 is great. There's plenty to do. I'm constantly calling up the Discovery Channel, saying, hey, that's not how dinosaurs walked. <laughs> And another thing. <laughs> By the way, Zeke, I knew the guy you were named after. The prophet Ezekiel. Yeah, he was an asshole, too. <laughs> if I was past my prime, would I be able to do this? <laughs> Every night. <laughs> Thank you.
You will be missed, Larry. Thank you so much for your friendship and for all the laughter.